Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. What's over here? Newspaper. If I went in the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. Alright, so let's go. Let's go home. University personnel housing. I live here with Helen. No one would be there if I went home now, though. Isn't that the point? It's like you're waiting for someone to be there? Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. A very nice, wonderful, lovely boy. Norway International Hotel. What's with all the upside down pink triangles on the far right? Is that like the side for like gay people? <laughs> oh, that was tasteless. But it's still pretty funny. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he? Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Hello, Edward. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please? For the love of God, please visit Edward. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. Okay, can I go home now? Huh? Someone is in front of the house. Oh, that's... University Staff Housing. Who's this dude? You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please, call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. The music just suddenly got really loud. Is this like the touching, let's get to know Jennifer part of the story? Hey, what do you say to have dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview? Or for a date? Uh, well, uh, uh, that's it, both. Yes, both an interview and a date. All right then, hee <laughs> let's go. And that was Jennifer's downfall. Scenario one, Jennifer Simpson. It's very late. I'm so scared. Someone's following me. 
I'm gonna knock on the door and get some help. freaked out and someone's following me so let's walk and then run Jennifer you're an idiot what's wrong help someone is following me hmm. some kind of weirdo <laughs> <laughs> Let's casually walk away from Scissor Man. Uh. Coming to get ya! <laughs> Let's check out what's up here. Because it's the farthest away from where he was even though it makes no difference. Because he can go in one room and then you can go into it afterwards and he won't be there. Mori Kunis, right? Fierros, no, Mori Kunis is on the first floor, okay. The Women's Lounge. No one is using them. Bunk beds for napping. Helen must take naps here when it gets late. Let's look out the window. The surrounding campus is lit by street, street lights. <laughs> the campus is creepy with everyone gone. There is no one walking around outside. Aww. Anything useful in here? Some cosmetics are on the table. There is something written here. Ooh, I got a hint. Hooray for hints. <laughs> <laughs> 